OK, so if you were to use simple random sampling to select a sample, then what that means is, so if we try and do it from a kind of a, a context situation, is that um, if you've got uh, 100 employees um, in a company and you wanted to gain their views and you just wanted a sample of, say, 10 of them, then what you could do is you could first of all assign a number to all 100 employees from 1 to 100. That would be the first step. Then you would have to pick random numbers in order to pick out the 10 that you needed. Okay? Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can really do this. So one way that a lot of people think of is to uh, put all the numbers into a hat and then pick them out like a raffle prize. I mean, that's not um, a particularly kind of a, a good way necessarily of doing it. Um, a better way is to generate random numbers from 1 to 100, which you can do on a calculator using the random number uh, function on there. So then you could randomly pick numbers from 1 to 100, and you could select out the 10, and you need to also consider, well, if there were any repeats, then you would just pick again until you've picked the 10 that you needed. And that's how you can do a random sample like that. Now, this is very good uh, in the sense that you know that you're going to get a random sample of people from it. However, um, a simple random sample does have the disadvantage that if you were doing it for, um, let's say, I needed to pick 100 people uh, from the UK, then trying to then go out and find those 100 people that I have ended up selecting um, could be quite costly and quite difficult to do. So that doesn't sound like an appropriate thing to do in that case. So it does have the disadvantage of it could be uh, expensive to do. However, um, if it's in a self-contained area, then it's usually one of the better methods to employ.